Hi guys, in today's dev vlog, I'm going to show you the new entity visualization feature. This feature allows you to both visualize and move the entities directly on the map. Let's go ahead and load a map. So we're going to hit load save file, and then once again, documents, my games, they are billions, saves. So we're going to load up the as a 46 save. So as you can see, there's a whole new section on this map display here. So these are all the different components and entities that are actually loaded in the map. So once again, if we look on the right hand side of the command center, if I actually click on the command center, it's going to highlight it for me. So this is the command center. So moving these around is as simple as literally dragging them. So you can grab it and you can drag it and put it wherever you like. Now at the moment, there's actually a lot displayed here. So to make it a lot easier, we can use the check boxes over here. So if I uncheck that, it'll disable all the entities. And then I can actually re-enable just the command center. So now it's much easier to actually visualize. So what we're going to do quickly, we're going to grab some water. And we're actually going to fill in a small section over here. Increase the brush size. So we've made a little pond here. And we're going to grab the command center and put it right in the middle. Now to prove that this is actually working correctly, we're going to enable these pickable up of golds. We're actually going to place these right next to the command center. So that when we actually load the map, you'll visually be able to see that there's actually pickable up of gold right next to the command center. So let's go ahead and save changes. There we go. Let's go ahead and export the ZX save. We're going to call this one. And let's go ahead and export the ZX check. Again, we're going to call it one. They both need to be the same file name. Now let's go ahead and load this into They Are Billions. Okay, so the map's been loaded into They Are Billions. So if you look down the bottom here, you can actually see I have the pond all around my area, around my command center. And you can see the pick of a lot of gold there. So at this stage, obviously, there's still zombies. In theory, I could use the editor to drag all the zombies away. At this stage, it's not really practical because there's so many zombies. So we will be working on a feature to actually move a large number of entities at once. And obviously, to be able to delete them. And the other obvious issue here is that the camera defaulted to spawning up here. So in a future update, we'll try and make the camera actually spawn down here. Or actually make the camera selectable by the player. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more features added to the level editor, make sure you like the video and leave a comment. If you'd like to stay up to date with the development of the editor, make sure you subscribe.